Hi, my name is Dr. Salman Imran. I am a pediat I'm a pediatrician at the Royal Lancaster Infirmary, and uh, I started here in uh, 2015. And today I'm going to this is uh, to the people who are referring from primary care. I'm going to take you through the process of how to refer an acutely unwell. Um, so we have now something in place which is called telephone triage. When I started here, um, this used to be manned by nurses, but now it is uh, usually the pediatric middle grade or consultant. So what we want you to do is ring switchboard and ask to be put through to the senior pediatrician or you can ask for the pediatric registrar. This uh, There is a bleep that this goes to in the evenings, uh, usually during weekdays. Um, a consultant is um, responding um, in the morning and night time there's usually a registrar um, on weekends you will get the registrar um, you can ask for a consultant if you're seri seriously concerned regarding s something serious for example safeguarding now when we take this referral we formally enter this information and uh, and our plan or a combined plan uh, with yourselves on the hospital Lorenzo system. Now, um, when you ring us and um, we feel that a patient can be seen on the rapid access clinic, um, we can take that route. The rapid access clinic is a as the name implies, it's a rapid access, so you, you, you're aiming to be seen, patient to be seen next day and certainly within the 72 hours. Currently what we're doing is every weekday we have one slot, so we can slot them in. That seems to be working uh, okay for the amount of activity we have. Um, these are patients who they shouldn't be que queuing on a busy assessment unit but they can't wait, wait for a week, week or more or longer. Um, so we'll have to, to work out which patients these are now. We can do that together. We can work that out together when you're making the referral. Um, they will be, when they're seen in us, seen in outpatients, there will be a consultant who will see them in, in dedicated time slot and the only way to make this referral to the rapid access clinic is after a phone call discussion and what we want you to do is take the name of the person you discuss this with and include that in the referral that really helps us because sometimes it goes back to who took the referral what was their impression etc now this referral is via an email to you seeing the email address there so you may do you do this email asking for rapid access appointment give a copy of that email to the parents and then tell the parents to ring children's outpatients next working day between 9 and 10 so they can be slotted in the next available clinic um Which patients are these? Who are these patients? Well, important things or rules are they should only be new patients or new problems. So ongoing things cannot go on there. They need to go to either the assessment unit, duty consultant on call, or the consultant who's already um, tagged on to this patient for ongoing problems. You can get them via their secretaries. Which patients are these? What are the typical patients? Um, well, we see the ones where there's a lot of parental anxiety or uh, GP anxiety, or you've noticed something which you don't, you feel that cannot wait for longer. Um, and even amongst our colleagues, sometimes opinion differs about uh, um, was this an appropriate referral for a rapid access clinic? Could this have gone? Could this have gone to the urgent clinic or could they did need to be seen as straight away on the assessment unit? But that's why the phone conversation is so important. 
and that's why taking the name of the doctor you spoke to is so important because then we will know what their thinking is what was the combined thinking and why they you came to this joint conclusion with the pediatrician that this patient is suitable for the rapid access clinic some examples uh, i've put down there um I mean, a t- typical one is this two-month-old with feeding issues, change milk a few times, mother is really not coping well, and um, just the simple reassurance you're not able to give, and they need to come to see a specialist for this. Uh, another one is like a single a sim- syncopal attack with a normal ECG examination. Obviously, if you find a, 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 an obvious arrhythmia or something they need to come in quicker because you might have to uh, give medication to stop that arrhythmia um, severe headache is another example could be with or without red flags so you need to when you have a discussion with a, with a um, senior pediatrician on call that it can be worked out in many cases we feel that then that's fine this can be this can wait for another day or two and be seen on a more um, in a more planned fashion another one is bell's palsy that's not an uncommon presentation in kids and uh, when we see them uh, i mean there's no urgency on seeing them we can always see them next day or the day after